The easiest thing for a kid growing up in Philly is, uh, is probably to play basketball, um, you know, maybe football. There's courts everywhere. All you need is a ball. There's always pickup games going on. Baseball, obviously, uh, it's different. For most kids, that would be enough to sway you towards the hardwood or gridiron, but not Josh Akami. The 6'4", 220-pound senior from Newman Gritty picked up a bat when he was five years old, and he hasn't stopped improving since. You're, you're never, ever good enough. Baseball is a frustrating sport. It's tough to, uh, tough to play a game where you go three for 10 and you're considered good. Like those other seven outs, you just had to smile because you always had to take everything positive out of it. Positivity isn't all Akami is getting out of the game. He'll also be taking a full baseball scholarship to Indiana University this fall. That is, unless a major league baseball team can change his mind. If you sign, you're good. You, you go right, you're right into uh, professional baseball in the minor leagues. But if he doesn't sign and he goes to Indiana, which is a four-year school, he'll have to either wait till he's 21 years old or till after his junior year. Um, so it'll be a tough decision. Whether it's Indiana or the MLB draft, Josh does not know where his life will take him in the next two weeks. One thing he does know is that no one will ever wear the number 30 at Newman Goretti again. It was kind of a no-brainer myself and, and the other coaches in our administration sat down and, uh, and said, hey, we got probably the best player in, in Newman history. We don't think anybody should ever wear number 30 again. And uh, everybody said, absolutely. You know, so, so we retired his number on senior day. And uh, that's the kind of impact that, that he'll have. He'll, he'll, he'll be remembered forever. All dreams have to start somewhere. For Josh, one of his biggest dreams is to get right back to the place he started. It would be like the, uh, the Mike Trout thing where 10,000 people from Millville came out at. I mean, ever since day one, you watch Phillies games, you watch all the sports, he's like, hey, I really like this game. Well, you already started, might as well make it your goal to play Major League Baseball. Making your city proud is one thing, but when your city just happens to be the city of brotherly love, nothing is more important than the people who made it possible for you to dream. I know he comes from a tremendous family. Uh, they clearly have brought him up the right way, so I know um, they've been a big impact on his success. We only have one car right now, and between four people, five people living in the house, it's kind of tough. They deserve it the best because they gave, they gave their all to me. So I, I had to at least give something to them.